Come on, buddy. My buddy Ninja, he's feeling really down because he just broke up with his girlfriend. Anyway, I'm trying to snap him out of his. Hey, buddy. Something you need to see, my friend. That's a giant lake, and I'm going up to the air gun range right up in the hills right there. About to drive across that bridge right there. What do you think, man? Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it is. Come on, man. Oh, you're going to help carry that? Thank you. Thank you, then I can carry more stuff. Watch this, this is at the HD slow-mo. Okay, I managed the air gun range. It looks like somebody has painted these targets white, which is cool. I brought some Birchwood Casey stickers to stick on there. I got a couple more trips to the car. I'll be ready to shoot. Do, 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 do. Say hello to my little friend. All right, that's a semi-auto Max Air, and it's uh, no joke. 25 caliber, I'm about to sight this baby in. 35, 50, and maybe 75 yards. All right, I got my Air Max all ready to go. I got my side shot right here. And I'm gonna go down and take some of these targets to 35 yards. I got some little hats. Got my buddy T-Rex right here. If you wanna know how I met T-Rex, he's a small arms dealer. So he is actually where I buy a lot of my air guns and other things. But now we're just friends. He likes to shoot air guns and he likes to wear hats. But then sometimes he likes the hats shot off his head, so. It's gonna work out fine today. Okay, I'm still using the 25 grain, exact 25 calibers. And the one thing I'm loving about these Avanix magazines is the ease of loading, at least in 25 caliber, the hole's just the right size so you can put a pellet in there. You just push it in, it snaps right in, and you rotate it to the next one. So, I got these all loaded up, 18. And I got strawberry shortcake right here. She volunteered to also wear a hat. So her and T-Rex have matching hats if you didn't notice. So the main problem that we have today is that I forgot my switchblade again. We're in the middle of nowhere, and so we have these Ace Venturi shoot them down silhouette targets that we have to get out of the package. No way to cut them out. So of course T-Rex said, "Let's just shoot them out." So I have my 25 caliber Evanix Air Max all ready to go. It's semi-auto. I got nine shots in each clip, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I'm on 20 power on this Hawkeye scope. I gotta shoot the hat off. The dinosaur and strawberry shortcake, of course, without hurting either one of them. So I just have to pick these up, find the chickens, but the chickens punched right through there. That's pretty cool.
Okay, I got my 25 caliber Air Max. This is a Hawkeye scope, 32 power scope. So this thing's gonna be ready for some 100 yard shooting for sure. Way out here, I should have exactly 35 yards right there. Check it with my range finder. Gonna go ahead and sight this thing in at 35, and then we'll do some 50. 50 is that bunny way in the back there. And that one way, way back there is 61 yards. And that tree right there is 75 yards. I had to make a trick shot to get a free a princess one time out of that tree, 75 yards. All right, I guess I better move that back a little bit. That's a long way. 35, there we go. Okay, right there you can see where I'm aiming. Right for the middle of those two targets, see where I land. So I'm on the paper, that's good. You see I hit right there, it says 6D. So let's see if I can get that into the middle. Okay, I just dialed over and down to where my pellet hit, so I might be able to get a bullseye on this next shot, shot number two. Out of the Avanix Max, see if I can get a bullseye 35 yards, second shot, Avanix Air Max, Max Air. I couldn't resist, so the first one I hit was there. Obviously, it was an inch high. Then I put another one through the same hole. Then another. And then I got too excited. I just was whap, 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 rapid fire. Got those two through that hole and one through that hole, or I think one and one, and I ran out. But that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get this dialed in and perforate a bullseye with one clip. Darn it, I wasn't recording classic rookie move. Check this out. I put the first shot low right there, and then I did a second shot through the bullseye, and then I put a third shot through the hole. Very awesome. I'm going to empty a clip of 925 rounders from a full fill onto this. Let's watch some lead fly. Alright, looks like that's got a little bit of power. From back there, it looks like those pellets were sticking in there. This right here is a very thick steel AR500. The hardest steel you can get, $34.99 at Walmart. I'm gonna do nine shots with the new 25 caliber semi-auto Evanix Max Air. Okay, so this right here is Jefferson State Air Rifles. 
They're located in Medford, Oregon. And they have the Air Speed, which is the Max Air's brother, basically. The Max Air in a regular stock for only $1,025. 22, 25, and 30 caliber. They may have 177. Those are in stock now, so you can get those. And it looks like the Vanix Max Air is only going to be $1,225 at Jefferson State Air Guns. They come with a wood stock and a variety of calibers. So those are not quite in yet. A little more for the 30 caliber, it looks like there. But they should be in this month, January. So I only did 35 yard accuracy testing in this video, but there's a few good videos on this airspeed right here, which is basically the exact same gun, but not in a bullpup version. Let me show you those videos. If you want to see what this gun can do at 50 yards, check out Shooter1721. He takes about five different pellets and goes ahead and puts them through a 50 yard target. Half inch groups on every single one of them. Five shots in a half inch group with like five different pellets. So check that out, Shooter1721. Hajimoto Productions right here has a really good review video of the 22 caliber airspeed. And this is my favorite one right here, Jefferson State Air Rifles. He tells you a lot about the airspeed, which like I just said is the Max Air is a bullpup version of the airspeed, so they're the same gun. And he shows you a bunch of stuff about the airspeed. You can actually increase the power by moving the trigger group back and a couple other really cool things. If you want to see 50 yard accuracy testing, there you go. Shooter1721 does some amazing stuff with the with airspeed. Everyone's raving about this new gun. So they're saying that Avanix nailed it. And looks like this uh, these new Avanix are going to be very, very popular. What Jefferson State Air Rifles mentioned, and I also want to mention, is these are very, very reliable. The guy at Jefferson State Air Guns, he said he took this whole gun apart. And it's very simple. There's hardly any moving parts inside here. So as he said, it's a very simple design. I don't understand exactly how it works. But apparently it's very simple, which makes it very reliable. And as we can see, the consistency with these shots is amazing. It doesn't drop off or anything once you start shooting through fast semi-auto. The other thing is you can get your magazine in and out without having to cock the bolt back. So that's another cool thing. And the other thing that some of the things mentioned is that you can decock your gun. By going like that. So now it's decocked when I have my bolt sticking right through here. Now it's cocked, ready to go. Put your mags in and out at will. So that is something I want to mention is I like the thing I like most about this gun is how rugged it is. And you're going to see I went out and did some hardcore testing with this. Got it all wet in the rain. And it didn't even miss a beat. So stay tuned. We're going to have some more Advantix Max Air videos coming out real soon. I'm going to go ahead and try to get some good groups at 50 and even 75 yards. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.